trying and ranking every single flavor of Olipop. All 14 from best. What? This just blew my mind. To worst. No. What are they doing? So what is Olipop? Olipop advertises itself as a healthy soda that supports digestive health. Each Olipop uses a base called OliSmart, which are seven natural roots, flowers, and cactus. But of course, none of that matters if it doesn't taste good. So let's rank some Olipops. Up first, lemon lime. Slight hint of yellow looks more like a ginger ale than a lemon lime soda that we're used to. But how does it compare to Sprite? Let's find out. I get a little bit of lime, a little bit of lemon, but everything is very subtle and subdued. I do taste a little hint of like ginger. It's not too sweet. Is it better than like a Sprite or a 7-Up? I do find like a 7-Up a little bit more like crisp and dare I say refreshing than this. I think some of the flavors are getting muddled. Lemon lime, I'm gonna give it a 4.2. Watermelon lime. This is actually the newest flavor. Surprisingly, really hard to find. That smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher off the top. That tastes like summer. That's a lot of watermelon. Oh. <laughs> no lime on the watermelon lime. Doesn't taste super artificial. I know it smelled like watermelon Jolly Rancher off the top. The issues I have with the lemon lime aren't in the watermelon lime. This is much better. A true delight. Watermelon lime gets an 8.8. .8. And of course, we're gonna do the infinity glass of Olipop, where we pour every single flavor of Olipop into one glass. Tropical punch, pineapple, passion fruit, mandarin, and apple. You definitely get the pineapple look of this, either pineapple or pee pee. Let's hope it's pineapple. A lot of pineapple on the nose. Thank God. Ooh, little tart, little sweet, little bit of that passion fruit, but this is definitely a tropical pineapple paradise right now. A little bit more pineapple than I'd like, but I do enjoy it better than the lemon lime. <coughs> oh man, we're only three in and anarchy is already starting. Strawberry vanilla. Ooh, luscious, bright, strawberry bomb. Tiny bit of vanilla on the back end. Kind of has that little bit of like candied strawberry vibe too. Reminds me a little bit of like a strawberry sundae. Got that vanilla in there. Honestly, I think it's just trying to do too much though. It's not completely offensive, but it is a 4.1. Infinity Cup's looking like a peach right now. Olipop, do a peach flavor. Banana -na 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 cream. Ooh, strong banana pudding vibes on the nose. Ooh, as advertised, that is a strong banana cream pot. It's not just straight up like banana flavoring, like banana Laffy Taffy. There is a nice like velvety, smooth banana cream texture to this. I definitely could not have the banana cream every day. Banana cream is a solid 7.5. Uh. Cherry Cola, our first classic soda flavor. <laughs> Ton of cherry off the top. <gasps> There's a lot of cherry in here. The cherry's fresh, doesn't taste artificial. I don't get a lot of like the cola feel to this. I think also when you like try to do a flavor that's as iconic as like a Coca-Cola, like everybody knows Coca-Cola, like you can't replace Coca-Cola. Classic root beer, another classic soda imitation, let's see. Pouring a deep brown. This smells like one of those tiny little root beer like candies. This one's interesting. As we know with the Ali Smart, there's a lot of roots. This is like the most natural placement of it. Cherry Cola felt forced, but the root beer feels like it has a home now. It is a little reminiscent of a root beer float. Doesn't have that like final crispness that like a Barks has, because Barks does have bite. Barks has bite. Root beer is a 6.2. Ginger lemon, little hazy. It's like I'm just biting a ginger root. <laughs> I like it. Little bit of citrus with the lemon, well balanced. Sometimes when drinks have ginger, I feel like they kind of hold back on it. This doesn't hold back. I like it. Ginger lemon's at 8.3, a solid spot at the top. Dr. Goodwin, we have plums, prunes, cherries. <sighs> ah! No, no. What are they doing? Dr. Goodwin? This is nothing like Dr. Pepper. This is where Olipop needs to stay in their lane. Stick to creating great new flavors. Your watermelon limes, your banana creams. Don't try to get into the Dr. Pepper game. You're not ready for this battle, Olipop. Don't try to take down big Dr. Pepper. Dr. Goodwin is a 0.4. Ugh. Ugh.
I am noticing that these have 32% of my daily fiber intake. I'm having 14 of these today. I'm a little afraid about what's gonna happen later. Cherry vanilla. Deep dark red. Tart cherry on the nose. That's cherry juice. That is just some nice, bold, pure cherry juice. A little carbonation. I get a tiny, tiny bit of the vanilla. It helps cut the cherry tartness a little bit. Cherry vanilla is the surprise of the day for me. I think I like it better than banana cream. An 8.1 for the cherry vanilla. Orange squeeze. Leans more towards a yellow than an orange, but not all the way pea yellow. Ooh, creamsicle vibes. Orange is luscious. The orange isn't too powerful either. As far as like an orange crush, not as syrupy, not as artificial. It tastes like you're having like a healthy orange crush. Solid 7.0. Uh. Oh my God. Cream soda. Perfectly clear, our clearest contestant of the day. What? This tastes like Lucky Charms marshmallows. What? Woo! What? That is crazy. Okay, this just blew my mind, honestly. This tastes better than any cream soda I have ever had. No joke. Olipop, accountability time. I know I said stay in your lane. I still feel that way for some of these colas, the Dr. Peppers, but kudos to you with the cream soda. That is absolutely a delight. 8.6 for the cream soda. Classic grape. The color of this is crazy. It, it looks more pink than it does like deep purple. That is grape crush, but it doesn't taste as syrupy and artificial. What grape soda should be? Just pure grape flavor, a little bit of sweetness. I don't like it as much as the cream soda. 8.4 for the grape soda. If you like the videos, please subscribe and let me know what we should try next. Vintage cola. Deep cola color. This is more like diet right. It is not Diet Coke. Diet Coke has a distinct crispness to it. An admirable attempt, 4.15. Trying all 14 flavors of Olipop in one glass. Oh, woo, absolute party going on. You get a lot of watermelon, get a little bit of that cream soda. There's some cherries in there. Honestly, it's kind of a delight. Oh no. I got the bubble guts, way too much fiber in these. My belly's going Okay. Overall for Olipop. Olipop does really well when they try to innovate and just kind of get some new flavors that you don't see every day. Your banana creams. I do think their takes on the fruit sodas are actually pretty good between the orange squeeze and the grape, but Olipop needs to stay in their lane when it comes to the classic of classics. The worst is the dreaded Dr. Pepper knockoff, but the best of the day, it is like you're sucking a watermelon.